Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Yes, I'm kind of right in the centre of Moscow today and I'm here at Pavletskaya train station and I'm actually in a shopping centre right below the train station and we're going to go check out what I think might be Moscow's best supermarket. It's right behind me, so let's go. Now, I might be starting off in a strange spot here, but can you see minus three? Now, we're actually three levels underground here, and this is Berry Cross Dock, or in English it would be Crossroads, and this is Perry Cross Dock, which I think is Moscow's nicest supermarket by quite a long way. And actually, right out the front here, you'll see Nice proof of that. Have a look at the fruits on offer here. And don't forget we're in December. So you got pineapples, watermelons, avocados, mangoes, limes, and then melons. Right here as you first walk in the supermarket. Now instead of showing you fruit and vegetables straight away, I thought I'd come around here to the right and check out this. They've got their own cafe. Yes. You can buy some pre-made food, or buy some salads, cakes, have a coffee. Have a look, they've even got all the fridges right here, so you can buy all of the different sort of meals that you just need to warm up and eat. And here's some cakes. Very nice sandwiches. And you can relax right here. They've got the nice tables, and then the Register here, you want to pay, and there's coffee. And have a look at all the choices. Sushi, pizza, very nice. Oh, the camera's flickering a little bit. Plenty of choices of pizza. And the lady makes them right there. Look, she's putting the tomato sauce on. And they've got the ovens. And then all the bakery goods. So there's a register right here where you can pay and then just sit right down. Have a look at the pizza right here. Very nice. All these pastries. And there's some fresh breads. A lot of choices. And these are all of the, what they call par bake breads. So they basically finish them off in the store. And then they're fresh every day. So one thing I really like about this cafe is they've got their own self-checkout. So basically you can grab the items that you want to pay for. So the food and drinks, you can do the self-checkout yourself. There's even bags right underneath. And you can sit on down right at the tables here. And of course, being December, it's Mandarin season. Oh, I call them satsumas. Does anyone say satsumas? Mandarins, oranges. Have a look at all the choices. There's a whole section of apples over here. And this is December in Russia. Look at all the choices that we have. And then coming over to the vegetable section, pretty much the same as usual, but how many choices of tomatoes do we have? Have a look at this. So many choices. And then on the other side, cucumbers. So many types of cucumbers as well. The only ones I really buy myself are these smaller ones. These are nice. You just slice these into like four pieces. That's the easiest ones to use. And this is why I really like Perry Crosstock personally is because even out of season you can still get grapes, there's different plums here, there's pears, and then coming over to the other rest of the vegetable section, they've got all of the kind of leaf kind of items I guess you would call it, and chilies, even more types of tomatoes, even these kind of small package ones for the kids. Have a look at that, there's Elsa and Spider-Man. You can get Spider-Man tomatoes. I don't think it's a Russian supermarket without potatoes. They even have like seven choices of potatoes. I'm pretty sure we just get these same classic ones that we've got to wash. But all these others, I think these are sweet potatoes right here. I think they are. Is that what you guys call them or Swedes? Am I getting the words mixed up? Let's have a look at all these types of uh, onions as well, carrots, lots of choices. Then they have a very big selection of pre-made food as well. 
So there's the cooked chickens, all the types of salads. And then we move over here then to different types of meats. And there's some pre-cooked different kind of uh, meals here as well. There's uh, some kind of rice dishes, lots of choices. They have a sort of a small butcher shop here, but they have some nice meats hanging here. I really don't know some of these different cuts, but they've got plenty of choices of different meats. Lots of uh, stock, even different types of chickens. Check that out. And if you don't want the fresh kind of cut pieces of meat there from the butchers, they've got all the packaged meats here as well. Actually, there's a lot more than what I realized. I think I kind of walked around the other side, but plenty of choices. Now, keep in mind, we're three levels underground in a shopping center. Now, this won't be particularly busy here. We're in the middle of Thursday afternoon here on a working day. So, okay, you're gonna see a few shoppers here and there, but it won't be very busy. Here's the healthy aisle. What? Healthy food? Come on. Over this side as well. Plenty of healthy items. And more kind of dairy items here. Some fish. And uh, never ending fridges of kind of hams, salamis, bolognese. And some more seafood. A lot of this sort of packaged seafood, pickled seafoods. And then of course they've got a fridge with caviar. There's red and black caviar here. There's actually quite a few different choices. And I pointed this out before, some of the smaller ones and the higher price ones have these kind of anti-theft cases on, which is really to be expected, right? But there's very few things that really have them on them in shops in Russia. Oh, have a look at the fish here in these little kind of frozen refrigerators. I'm not sure what they call these. They've got the the kind of uh, the cold air blowing over them, I guess. And then the Mosquarium back here. Check the Mosquarium with all the fish and the fresh fish. And I think they've even got some like little crabs or yabbies up there. I'm not sure what they would call them in Russia. Now I'm gonna not cover every aisle in this supermarket because it is very big, but they've got fridge after fridge after fridge of dairy items. So lots of Things like butters, yogurts, uh, different meats. Uh, there's different yogurts here. And mayonnaise, eggs, lots of choices. And then if you're into different types of smoked fish or cured fish, they have also more than enough choices. And then we come on to the salamis Again, these are kind of by weight, a lot of these ones. And they've even got a cheese section here. So they weigh out the cheese for you by the, by the weight, I guess, quite obviously. And then I've also got the bulk ones in the back here in the fridge. And there's even some small package ones. So if you want to grab something like this and get some bread and have a sandwich, you can do that right in the store as well. And then from the Shelf of long life milk. You come across all of the nuts and dried fruits. And there's quite a lot of choices too. These different packaged ones. My wife likes these, this dried mango up here. This is one of her favorites. I think she's got far more favorites in the store than what I have. And then we have a chilled fridge here with the different juices. And have a look, Jumex from Mexico. You can get Mexican juice right in the store as well. Yeah, they have a very nice, I'd say it's kind of like a imported selection here as well. Here's all the chilled drinks. So if you want something cold, it's not very normal that people get cold drinks in Russia because it's already cold outside. And they have a very small frozen section in here, but all of the uh, critical things are kind of covered. Ice creams, you got the ice cream cones down here. Plenty of choices of ice cream cones. And there's a very tiny section of 
frozen vegetables, frozen cauliflower right there. Now, although this supermarket is underground, it's no mean that it's a small supermarket. It has kind of everything that we need and more. Now, this isn't my area where I live, but I was kind of passing through here. I thought, why not show you what I think is the best supermarket in Moscow? Have a look at all the candy by weight. This is pretty easy. You just basically get a bag, choose what you want, and then you weigh it out yourself on the scales. And here's some of the different candies, sweets. There's a very big choice of kind of uh, sugary, sweet kind of uh, snacks in most supermarkets. And those sugary snacks continue on the next aisle. Oh, have a look up here, Medovic or honey cake. Oh, very nice. This one is very, very nice. This one right here. If you want something very sweet and not healthy for you at all, but it is nice, let me say. Here's my, this is kind of, I finally found something that I like. These waffles right here. And they're basically like a wafer with chocolate. It's 98 rubles. It's one ruble cheaper than where I live. If I want to buy it here and have a look more. Biscuits, plenty of choices of Milka, and then Oreos. Yeah, there's not really a shortage of biscuit choices. This is what my mum has back in Australia. She likes these Belvita ones. Then we come down to this back section of the supermarket here, and we can see some of the canned items here. So there's lots of canned fish canned tunas, there's uh, the very classic peas and corn, then we've got pickled vegetables, so if you want pickled olives, pickled mushrooms, pickled tomatoes, anything that you can pickle is in a jar in Russia. And then there's some different buckwheat here, and different kind of uh, seeds, also, there's things that you can make here to make soups. Here's all the buckwheats down the bottom here. And I keep mispronouncing it. I keep saying grechka or grecha. And here's different rices. And actually, we don't see this very often. This is my wife's favorite rice here, which is the one with the Balinese dancer on it. But yeah, this is the kind of classic food section back here. Lots of things here if you want to bake cakes, all the different uh, ingredients, flours, and all the different mixtures for cakes right here. And then there's even kind of a little Asian section here with different soya sauces and sweet and sour sauces. And then we come over here to see coffees. Plenty of types of coffee. Now, someone keeps telling me there's no coffee in Russia. It's run out, but have a look how many choices there are on this left-hand side. And then over here on the right is all the types of teas. And there are so many flavors of tea here that you're almost spoilt for choice. And my wife has a cupboard of different teas in her, uh, well, in our kitchen. I was gonna say in her cupboard. She has her own cupboard with all her teas in. And here we have all the different sauces, ketchups, if you want to do for barbecues, marinades. Have a look at how many choices. Heinz is still in Russia. It hasn't gone anywhere. And there's actually probably just as many as there was at the start of the year. Here's olive oils, cooking oils. And over here are all the different types of pastas. This store has a very nice kind of uh, different choices of pastas come to the classic Borillas. So if you want something a little bit more fancier or upmarket, I guess you'd come here. My wife and I are into this Borilla. We like just the classic everyday stuff. And we get, make sure we get a nice sauce put together. I think that's the key to good pasta is having a nice sauce. And then right in the corner here is all the different types of beer. So there's kind of two sections of beers. Here's all the zero alcohol ones. I wonder, does anybody drink zero alcohol ones? You can even get the flavored 
No alcohol ones here. Raspberry flavor. What is that one? Like a passion fruit or a grapefruit flavor. Lots of choices. Plenty of imported beers as well on this right hand side. And then over here, there's a bit of a mix of Russian beers and imported beers from Denmark, I think this one is, to Borg, Hollandia, Amstel, Budweiser. The choices don't stop. There's not like there's an empty section here. And then we finally get to the alcohol here. So this is predominantly all vodkas. And then I always like it in the Russian supermarkets. They put the chips uh, right close to the alcohol and the beer. So it kind of inspires you to get some uh, chips with your purchase. And I just noticed this in another store a few days ago. But they've got the caviar flavored chips for the holidays. Snow and got them. Well, Happy New Year. And then there's the crab lays that I don't really love, but well, there's even a, what's this one, like a spring onion flavor? And there's the bacon ones, these are the corn chips, but there's a bacon flavored one there, which isn't too bad. Plenty of choices of chips. And there's a nice selection of red and white wines also in this supermarket. This really, although it's three levels underground, they have a nice selection of kind of alcohols. You really wouldn't know it. If you walked in the shopping center and didn't know the place, you would not know this is down here. But I'm kind of giving away the secret to everybody. And then on this other side is all the different alcohols. Now, my wife was wanting to get one of these for Christmas here or for New Year at least, this Aperol. We've got nice gift sets with the glass there. So Bailey's is still there. Campari, Sambuca, there's Amarula from South Africa. And then Barcelo here is rum from Dominican Republic. Plenty of Bacardi. So yeah, lots of brands. Somebody keeps telling me the stores are running out, the shelves are getting low, but certainly not in this shop. And then coming around to the other side and there's a Kind of selection of different vodkas. These are all the kind of good value vodkas, which are not particularly good, but if you're thirsty, here's some premium whiskies here. The Macallan 18 wouldn't be an easy one to get around the place. The price is kind of high though, but if you want some of the premium whiskies, they have them here. Some American whiskies as well. And then Everybody knows doers. The only thing I find coming into these stores personally is they mix up the selection quite badly. So you've kind of got one shelf, you've got some scotch, then you've got American whiskey, and then you've got Irish whiskey, orange flavored Bell's whiskey, Bell's spiced. There's classic Bell's, but there's a lot of different flavored whiskeys now. West Cork Irish whiskey right there. Yeah, this is definitely plenty of selections. Now, this last bay here, William Lawson, is full because this is the most popular selling whiskey in all of Russia. It sells more than any other brand in the whole country, probably because they've got the most displayed at the same time as well. But that's William Lawson's right there. And then here's all the juices. You can pretty much get any fruit in a juice in Russia. So we well, just be used to classic orange juices, pears, bananas, strawberries, orange, passion fruits. There is so many different flavors of juices. It's almost too many choices all across the whole shelf here. So what do you think so far? Do you think this is the nicest supermarket in all of Moscow? Now, for me, the assortment would have to say it is, but I'm sure someone will tell me otherwise where they live in the world, they've got a better supermarket, but let me know in the comments. Do you think it's a nice supermarket? I think so, so far. Well, finally, I found an empty shelf 
in the supermarket, and that's the Red Bull. So I wonder, maybe they're not sending Red Bull to Russia anymore. So there's still plenty of other types of energy drinks, but they're, they're a little bit, I don't, I don't know energy drinks very well at all, but Eon, there is Adrenaline, Game Fuel, Gorilla. I don't know any of these brands of energy drinks, but there's definitely some here. Now, the soft drink section I know very well. And one of the ones that I'm starting to like a little bit at the moment is this Lemon Fresh. Actually, I like this minty one over here. This is my kind of favorite one. And I've actually got this one with mango on special right now. Only 44 rubles. But what we're going to see here is, well, what we're not going to see here is Coca-Cola products. We can still see Pepsi products, though, because Eves is from the Pepsi factory. This is essentially the Pepsi products here. The Eves orange here is exactly what Miranda would be. And you can see here the lemonade and then the cola right here. But that's exactly what was coming out of the Pepsi factory. And then, you know, for me personally, this section hasn't changed in the amount of choices. There's probably more choices now than there ever was. But we're just having to kind of rethink up the names here. So Cool Cola, Fancy Street, you know, there's uh, G Cola, there's Jumbo Cola, Cool Cola. So there isn't a lack of choices. And here we see all the Russian brands towards the end here. So this Chernogolovka. Now this is another secret of the store here. This kind of like creamy soda right here, like an ice cream kind of flavor. Can you see how it's like got that kind of pale color to it? If you want to try something very nice. And then all the different Chernogolovkas. And there's the kind of pear one that I tend to get. And that's the Baikal, which is the cola one, which is basically cola with a hint of pine cone. If that's really the description to use. And we'll see here the what used to be the Pepsi display is now the Eves display. Now I'm sure you're aware I don't really understand too much Russian, but this is a automated beer machine. So you can get the container here on the side. They've got these kind of brown kind of drink containers. And then there's basically beer on tap, if you like. And then you just put your bottle right up here kind of on the machine, press the button for your beer, and it'll serve you a liter of beer right there. How cool is this? And then of course, making it a full fledged supermarket, they've got all of the kind of non-food items here. So things for your pets, cats, birds, plenty of types of pet foods, all of these little kind of packaged ones. And I pointed this out before that it's kind of a aisle for cats and then a very tiny section for dogs just here at the end. And here's all the different cleaning products. So you've got the stuff for dishwashers and then uh, different things for washing clothes and just general cleaning goods here. Domestos. Now guys, if you're watching and your wife sends you to buy Domestos, have a look what happens here in Russia. You've got one, two, three, four, five different types of Domestos. <laughs> Go and grab a bottle of Domestos is what my wife tells me. And then I've got five to choose from. Now, being that this uh, isn't a huge supermarket, of course, the aisles are much shorter. So there isn't kind of that full length aisles that you'd be used to in normal supermarkets. So everything is here, but Obviously a little bit more condensed down. Still a very big toothbrush section though. And then right at the register here, if I haven't kind of found my pillows at the supermarket, they've got white bamboo pillows right here. This must be a kind of promotional uh, item, I guess. I don't know, but who else buys pillows at their supermarket? And we just got the regular checkouts over here. It's uh, 
kind of got everything. It's a very, very nice store. Oh, gummy candy. Oh, Frutella. Yes. M&M's, of course. And here's the different Frutella bears right here. These are very nice. Now as I walk out of Perry Crosstalk, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. I got myself some Baikal, this kind of Russian cola. It's actually my, one of my favorite drinks in the store. So, and you can buy Baikal anywhere, but I had to have one because I'm thirsty after walking around making the video. Thanks everybody for watching. Now you need to tell me in the comments, is this probably one of the best or the nicest supermarkets in Moscow? Maybe I won't say Russia, just so I'm Make sure I can check some other cities. Let me know in the comments. I put another video for you to watch right here afterwards. You can watch that right away. Catch up with another old video maybe you haven't seen before. Thanks everybody. I'm off on my way home. Actually, I'm not off on another adventure today. I'm heading home now to relax for a little while. Bye everybody.